Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. This is the first video of a two-part tutorial series where I'll show you how to make this beautiful interactive stylized grass. Let's have a look on the final result. Alright, without wasting any time, let me show you how I've done this. First open up Blender and kill the default cube. Then you can import your character to have a sense of scale when you're making the grass. Then add a plane and scale it down. Extrude its upper face and rotate it 90 degrees. Extrude two more times and then merge the two top and bottom vertices together. Scale it a bit more and then add a slight curvature. Then duplicate and rotate your grass blade in order to make a grass patch. The next thing to do is to make the normals face upwards. So go to your overlay menu and enable the normals and then go to mesh normals and point to target click anywhere in the screen and then open the bottom left window and set a very high number in the Z axis now go to the UV editing panel hit A to select all of your vertices hit U on your keyboard and smart UV project now you need to make sure that the triangles facing downwards in your mesh also face downwards in the UV space in case a UV blade is upside down in the UV space, select its bottom point in the mesh, hit L on your keyboard and then select the corresponding UVs and rotate it 180 degrees. Now select all of your grass bottom parts to make a last check and if it looks something like mine then it's correct. This will be used to create a height mask inside the material and you can also do it by vertex painting. Paint the bottom parts of your grass black and the top white. Now that everything is done, you're ready to export the mesh as an FBX. So now it's time to open Unreal Engine. As you can see, I made a simple level with a landscape and I made the simple landscape material and I painted some different color stripes in it. Now I'll show you how I made the material. Right click, create a new material, name it however you want and open it. Add a landscape layer blend node and create three layers. Name them however you want and don't forget to set the first one's weight to 1. Then make three colors, a green one, a lighter green and a darker one. Create a runtime virtual texture output node and plug the blend node to the base color. I also set the roughness to 0.8. Alright, so the material is ready, go to your landscape mode and start painting the stripes. Now it's time to make the runtime virtual texture. Make sure you have virtual texture support enabled in your project settings and right click go to textures and runtime virtual texture. Name it however you want, open it and select just base color. Then you can close it, select your landscape, search for virtual textures and add the virtual texture we just made. Then add the runtime virtual texture volume in your scene Select the virtual texture we made, click snap to landscape and set bounce. Then you can import your grass mesh and remember to select do not create materials since we're gonna make our own one. So right click, create a new material, name it however you want and open it. The first thing we're going to do is to create a runtime virtual texture parameter and select the virtual texture we made earlier. Then add some parameters for metallic, specular and roughness. And then to make each grass blade light evenly on both sides, create a blue color and multiply it with a two-sided sign. Don't forget to make your material two-sided. Now let's go back to our level and add our grass in the foliage tool. Also assign the material we made in the grass mesh and change the foliage parameters to make it more dense and varying in size. Also make sure to turn off the shadows. 
then go back to your material, add a simple grass wind node, make a parameter for the wind intensity, and then take the texture coordinates, mask the green channel, which means the y axis on the UVs, one minus it, so that the bottom parts are black and the top white, and power it in order to offset the gradients. Then saturate it to have values between 0 and 1. Add the parameter for the wind speed and a constant for the additional world position offset. Then plug this to the world position offset, hit apply and your grass is almost ready. Now we're going to Photoshop, create a 1K image, select our gradient tool and make some black and white stripes. Then apply the gradients with a slight tilt and under the filters select liquify. Then take your time to make it a bit more wavy. And when you're done go to filters, other and offset. Offset it by 512 pixels since that's the half of 1k. And now it's time to make our texture tiling. Take the spot healing brush tool and the normal brush tool to make the edges more seamless. Then add a curve layer to make it blend a bit better. And add a blur on top of all that. Then your texture is ready so export it and let's go back to Unreal. Alright now that we're back in Unreal, import your texture and add it in the material. Copy and paste the height mask we created earlier and multiply it with the texture. Add a world position node, divide it with a parameter that will set the size of the texture. Mask the RNG channels, add a panner with the speed parameter you make and plug it in the UVs of the texture. Also don't forget to add a saturate node between the power and the multiply nodes. And the last thing is the lerp between the runtime virtual texture and the runtime virtual texture multiplied with a parameter that will change its brightness. Hit apply and then create a material instance of your material, assign it to your grass mesh and open it to tweak your parameters. You can play around with the parameters to make the grass look however you want. And in the next video we will make the grass interactable. Make sure to subscribe to the channel in order to watch the next part when it releases. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.